Good morning and welcome to our Ask the Agronomist edited to Ask the Marketing Department sec um, section today. So we are here with Shannon Latham. Shannon, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Thanks. It's hard to be um, anything but in a good mood when the sun's shining. Right. I would have to agree with that. Yesterday was what, 35? Yesterday was beautiful. How about freezing? That's a win. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, okay, so just to introduce what we're going to do a little bit today, our product team is off um, deciding what our future is going to be for the next year. So there are pro uh, product meetings this week, so we thought that we'd pull you in and talk a little bit about the Latham brand. That sounds good. So what probably a lot of people don't realize is we have our lineup selected for next year already, usually by mid-February. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, while farmers are finalizing 2018 planting, um, plans, we are going ahead working on what's going to be in the field next year. Right, all right, good deal. All right, so obviously Shannon Latham, um, Director of Marketing, and really how we uphold our brand and how we are seen to the community. So do you want to talk a little bit about what you do? Sure, so what I do is I really try to um, manage our brand um, in every aspect, whether it's from how we answer the phone, to how we're portrayed on a website, to mm -hmm. what we look like in a magazine ad, and of course social media, because right. yeah, like you, that's a shared passion. Yeah. Um, and what I love about social media is that we get to interact with our customers and mm -hmm. farmers from all over any day of the week or any time right. of the day. Really, um, like within minutes too. I mean, that's the great thing about having a good team, we're all there. <laughs> right. Yep, and the other part about having a great team is we all know I am Snapchat illiterate. So <laughs> other people can take that oh, over. Funny. And yeah, I like to watch the snaps. I'm just, I'm clearly not. That's alright. It's a learning snap. curve. Right? Yeah, I'm just, not, I'm just not amusing enough to snap. This is everything. Okay, um, so let's just start with you. Talked a little bit how we maintain it um, just here in the office. So how do we portray that to our dealers? So they're the ones that are in the field throughout our seven state marketing territory. Yep. So I think. Anywhere there's a customer touch point, mm -hmm. um, any way they interact with our company, whether it's our people, our employees, um, other people representing us like dealers, mm -hmm. and our printed materials. And this time of year, when I think of printed materials, we're working on our seed guide. Right. Um, and so it's always fun to collect those testimonials. Um, I always enjoy trying to work together, come up with that theme, what the theme of the mm -hmm. seed guide is going to be, because right. I think that's a huge way that our values are um, projected is through that seed yeah. guide. I think our mission, our why, the what we do, what we do is through that theme. So pretty right. excited for this year. We just decided it last week or a couple weeks ago. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. That's under real or probably can't tell. That. Yeah, we probably want to do that. A little bit of suspense, right? Yeah. Because um, the book doesn't come out until July. So yeah, write right. your calendars for July. <laughs> Um, and also in July, um, that makes me think about it because we introduce our seed guides at our dealer annual dealer kickoff yes. meeting. Yep. And what I love about um, our events is that they're open to the family. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. and we encourage, you know, all um, you know facets of the family mm -hmm. to come together at, at our meetings. And um, when I first entered this business, it seems like there's so many things that tear families apart, and there's so right. many reasons for you to be gone away from home. Mm -hmm. So I like that we try to work to bring families together. Yeah, I would agree, which um, is kind of how the company was started 70 years ago. So Willard started it on customer service. Do you want to talk a little bit how that's still what we do today? Sure, because we've obviously evolved and grown and changed as agriculture changed, but you're right, our why and why we do what we do and mm -hmm. what what we do is really still the same. So back in 1947, there was an outbreak of oat smut, mm -hmm. and Willard about froze to death, going around farm to farm, cleaning the different oats. So this was on helping farmers produce better crops, and he knew that he could do that with certified seed. So fast forward 70 years later, we've transitioned into soybeans, corn, alfalfa, and now cover crops, because times are changing. There's more interest in cover crops. Right. Um, and uh, we added alfalfa a few years ago. So mm -hmm. I love that we're continuing continually changing with the needs of our farmers. Yeah, I would agree. Um, had some really great feedback on that. People love options and that's what we have. So <laughs> That's right, different yeah. trades and technologies and, and anyone who's listened to John knows that picking those products, that's really what gets him up in the morning, mm -hmm. is picking that next great yeah, product. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and just lastly, one thing, how do Latham Valleys affect what we do? So maybe on a department wise, how does that affect our day to day? I think our Latham values affect every team member and it affects our hiring process too because mm -hmm. we want to hire people who have integrity, a good work ethic, can be part of the team. I mean, when you go behind the scenes of marketing, it's all team based. Right. Um, we, we've got a production team that cleans the seed, packages mm -hmm. it, puts it together. We've got our product team, which we always have said is one of our keys to picking great products, is because they live and work in the areas mm -hmm. where 
they're choosing products for. And so it's all team-based, um, and it all goes back to that integrity, teamwork, right. uh, community involvement. And um, speaking of community involvement, that's one of the things that I'm excited on too. I'm working on um, a whole different health initiative, which is going to be exciting for mm -hmm. employees, and it's going to be a reason for people uh, in the local area to come together mm -hmm. too. So, all right, good stuff. Bringing people together on good topics can't beat that. That's right. <laughs> all right. Well, is there anything else that you would like to add? I'm just glad that I got a chance in the seat today. So all right. Thank you. For You'll have to invite John for it next week. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that is all we have for today. Thanks, Shannon, for joining us, and thanks for our listeners for tuning in. Have a good day.